What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea and I make home and self-care content. Today we are heading out to the thrift store and this is a new thrift store. It's not new in existence. It's just new to me. I've never been there before. It's not close to my home. It's about 40 minutes away. So I just had to wait for a time when it was convenient to drive out there, get a good amount of time shopping, and then drive back home. And today, is that day so I'm gonna grab my purse and let's go thrifting all right you guys we are on our way to the thrift store and this thrift store was advertised as a collectibles store um, I looked at some of the pictures so I am guessing their prices are probably going to be a little bit higher than just a regular thrift store but I'm thinking definitely not as high as something like an antique market I did do a video on thrifting tips and one of those tips was about doing your research on the vendor so you know what to expect so I definitely did that I'm really excited I saw some photos of what they have and I think the store is pretty big and I think they have a pretty wide range of different things let me know if there is something you'd like to see more of or if you feel like you're really getting a good overview of the thrifting process just comment below and let me know that really helps me understand what you guys enjoy seeing so that way I can prioritize that information so other than that I'm gonna drive the rest of the way and I'll see you when we get there all right guys we are here I just parked so I already see pieces that they have out on their sidewalk and I know that they sometimes do sidewalk sales so it looks like a pretty big building, so we're gonna go in, check out what they got, and uh, see what we get. Guys, this is pretty cool. It's a candlestick holder, but it has a slot underneath for a pack of matches. So they have a lot of Crocs and they are really good prices. This one's pretty big and it's only $12.
right guys, I am back in the car and I am sweating. Ooh, it was a little warm in the store and I have been in there for over two hours. There was so, so, so much stuff. You just can't, you just can't get through that much stuff in a short period of time. So I am going to head back home and show you what I got. I got to get this car turned on so I can get some AC on. I'll see you at home. Okay, you guys, I am at home. It is not the same day as it was when I went thrifting. I got home, I ate, and then there was a major storm, so I had terrible natural lighting. You could hear heavy rain and thunder in the background, so I just couldn't film that day. So we're here now. I'm excited to show you the things that I got. I am going to include a couple things that I didn't get at this store but I picked them up randomly, kind of one at a time from, I think two or three different stores, but I thought why not include it in this video so that you guys can see a few more items. So with that being said, let's show you what I got. Okay, so first up is this teapot and it does have a dent here in the front as well as a dent here in the back. That's something that I'm okay with. I love the color and the patina on this as well as the wooden handle. This was $12. This came from a different store than what you guys saw yesterday. This is just one of those random items that I said I was going to include from a separate trip. This definitely has to be cleaned up. There is some type of substance on it. I'm not sure what it is, but this is going to need to get soaked well and kind of scrubbed a little bit just to at least get that residue off but I'm sure after that she'll be just fine. Next from that same store are these brass candle holders and you can probably tell if you've watched my other thrifting videos that I definitely love to collect these. I am so excited for when Christmas comes around and I can get all of them out and then display them within my Christmas decor. I love brass all year round, but I just think that there is something really beautiful about them at Christmas time, so I keep collecting these. This set was $6, which I found them for less, I found them for more. I'm okay with paying $6 for these two. I like the height of them, but I also like that I was able to find them as a matching set. Okay, so next is this picture frame. I've been wanting to finally finish the gallery wall in my dining nook. I have just been utterly slacking on it, but I, I am going to get it done. So I've been looking for a frame for the top left corner, and this one is really the perfect size for it. This still has the sticker on the back and it was only $3.99 and I think the inside here, hello Miles, I think the inside here is about 11 by 14 so I gotta pick out a print and get that delivered so that way I can get this fully framed and then hung up in my dining nook. Okay, I'm trying to show you this mirror without reflecting back into the camera. I think this is okay. I'm trying to look in the viewfinder. It looks like things are all right, but this mirror is pretty heavy, so it's definitely good quality. This mirror was not at the store that you saw from the other day. This is a mirror from my local Goodwill, and let me see if the price is still on the back. It's not. I think I did pay, I don't remember if it was $15 or $19 for this. It is heavy, and I've been looking for kind of a brass or gold mirror. I've really been hunting for a round one, but when I saw this one, I felt like this could still be useful to me. I think I'm going to put it on top of my desk where I get ready in the morning. So I'm really happy with this find overall. It's just too heavy to hang without putting holes in the wall. I'm hoping to buy a home next year, so I'm at the point where I'm really trying not to do any more damage to kind of what's already been done. My dad is going to have a lot of holes to patch when I do finally leave here. So I think I'm just going to set this on my desk and use it again just to get ready in the morning. Okay, now we can move on to the stuff from the store that you saw in the footage. And the first thing that I got there was this book of poetry. If you saw my last thrifting video where I thrifted a lot of brass items, I'll put a card up here for it in case you'd like to watch that after this video. I found a vintage cookbook from the 20s. 
I absolutely loved it. That cookbook is incredible. I always check out the books whenever I go thrifting or antiquing. And so I saw this one and looked through it a little bit in the store, but certainly have not gotten an in-depth read into it yet. I can't wait for a chilly day to cuddle up with a good cup of coffee and this and just kind of read through it and see what other poems are in here. There is a paid bottom of a library card in here. Can I get this to focus? Let's see, let me try to get this to focus on this card and not me. There we go. So ironically, this was paid in October and it is October, so that's kind of funny, but I don't believe this is from a current library because I did find another slip in here. I think I might have taken it out. I found another slip in here that I think it was checked out in the 70s. This is copyrighted in 1923, so this is an older book as well. So I'll get into this more at some point. Okay, next is this crock, and these stoneware crocks have been so expensive lately. I'm seeing them go for 20, 25, 30 dollars, and this one isn't huge. It's a pretty good size, but I'm just not willing to pay that for one of these personally. If you love them and you're willing to, more power to ya. But luckily for me, this one was only $10. And that was definitely a price I was willing to pay. I like the detailing underneath. And let me see if I can come in here and show you a little better. I like the details here. And I think that this is going to be used to hold my utensils for cooking. Right now I have them in two metal gold holders. I just think it looks a little messy and cluttered. I don't have a huge kitchen. I live in an apartment, so I think if I put them in here, it'll just kind of visually clean up the space a little bit. And I just love the look of utensils in a crock. So next from that store is this little, I almost think it looks like a mini cauldron, which is appropriate for Halloween, but I actually think this might be cast iron. I'm going to ask my dad and see what he thinks, but this is pretty darn heavy for being so small. This was also $10. This is unfortunately going to have to be just decor because the inside is, I guess you would say corroded. So this just isn't practical to be utilized, unfortunately, but I do love this type of piece as decor, so I'm really okay with spending $10 on this, even though it's not necessarily functional. This will definitely get styled probably either on a shelf or maybe even on a table with some foliage in it. We'll see where I end up putting it, but $10 was a price that I was okay with for this piece. Okay, so the next item or items I should say is for Christmas. I saw these in there and I just had to pick them up and it's these little wooden trees. And there's a set of five of them. They do vary in height. So I'll show you four of them. So I found the initial one and I absolutely loved it. I immediately picked it up and then I was shopping, I saw another one, so I grabbed that one as well. And then as I was continuing to shop, I found three more in a little set together. So I ended up with five of them. They were $2.50 each, which I have a feeling somebody's gonna be like, that's way too expensive. These make me so happy for some reason. I think they're just beautiful and I can't wait to put them out for Christmas, so honestly, I was more than willing to spend $2.50 per tree. And I think these are going to be beautiful along with the brass candlesticks. I just love that they're made of the wood. This piece is actually metal, so I just love the natural elements of pieces like this. And I love when decor looks homemade, but is a little more refined maybe. This piece has a little edge that I have to clean up. I'll just file that down and up here as well. I love these trees. I can't wait to use them. You will see these in a Christmas video or two. Okay, so I had to move all my little trees to show you this cutting board. I, for some reason, just love collecting cutting boards. I don't know what it is about them. 
they're functional, they're beautiful decor. This piece is actually pretty heavy, and I think that's a good indication that it's made well. It has been heavily used. You can see all of the marks on it. Definitely used well, definitely pre-loved, and that's okay with me. I may end up staining this and resealing it. I'm not sure yet. Comment below and let me know if you think I should leave this as is or if you think, you know, staining it like a darker wood tone and resealing it would be something that you would think would be nice. But if I do get that done in time, you will then see this in a video that I have coming up in the next couple weeks. There's going to be delicious snacks in it, so if you love to eat, you'll want to see that video. Um, but I'm probably going to do a charcuterie board in that, so if I get this done in time, it will be in there. Actually, even if I don't get it in time, this will still probably be in it. Okay, and my last but very exciting item. I'm actually going to have to pick you up to show you this, so come with me. Floyd has come to check out our thrifted items here. He obviously loves the cutting board, but that just means that we're going to have to clean it up a little bit extra now that my cat is laying on it. So our last thrifted item here is this standing length mirror. This was only $30. You can see the pieces are a little bit tarnished, so I'm gonna try to clean them up and see if I can't fix them. If not, what I might try to do is get my hands on some rub and buff and kind of restore them, but let me try to get you kind of a better overview of it here. All right, you guys, that is everything that I got on this thrift and antique trip. I hope you like these thrifting videos. I know I love to thrift. Give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the thrifting content so that I know that you would like me to keep making these videos. Leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite item was or what you like to look for when you go thrifting. I will definitely be using some of these items in styling or decorating videos. If you love Christmas, this is where you're going to want to be when it comes to styling content. I can't wait to decorate for Christmas and you'll definitely see some of these items then again. So if you would like to see those, you can subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.